What's going on YouTube? Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about Paul Dini's run on Zatanna. Um, this was a series, I believe it was published by Vertigo at the time. Um, like I said, it was written by Paul Dini. For those of you who don't know who Paul Dini is, he was uh, heavily involved in Batman the Animated Series. Um, along with, you know, a, a whole bunch of comic books that he's written um, over the years. Um, and Zatanna was one of his most notable works for a lot of people. Um, and, and I agree, of course. That's why I had a, a custom omnibus done for, for the series. Um, the reason I wanted to talk about this book is because I feel like Zatanna is not talked about enough. She's a fantastic character with a lot of personality and a lot of heart. Um, and she has great powers. I mean, backwards magic is, is a pretty sweet thing to be able to do. Um, and yeah, let's, let's, let's take a look at the book first. So like I mentioned, it's a custom bind. Um, I did also make the little dust jacket here. And there's the back. Um, I really love there. There are a lot of Brian Boland, uh, covers on this series. Um, Brian Boland is amazing. Um, show you guys the flap here, a little more Brian Boland artwork, and even, even more Brian Boland artwork because he is amazing. Um, so we're going to take the dust jacket off, but what I really like uh, about this series is, um, like I mentioned, you know, it's, it's very supernatural, obviously, with the whole magic aspect of it. Um, so this one, this book I got bound at uh, Lehman Bookbinding in uh, Kitchener, Ontario. Um, in Canada. Great place. I've talked about it enough. Um, so here we've got our, our list of creators and and whatnot. Um, so Paul Dini wrote the most of it. There were some issues written by uh, some other folks. A lot of artists on the series, um, which, you know, for the most part, they all had fairly similar styles, which we'll get through. Um, but yeah. Um, so all I did here was I took the trade paperback uh, that they released and I bound it. Um, so it's pretty cool. You know, you get your, your you get your intro page already done for you, and your, um, you get an intro by Paul Dini. Of course, there's a Brian Boland artwork cover. Um, and uh, yeah, it gets right into it. Um, so for those of you that don't know, Zatanna is um, the daughter of Zatara, who was, uh, I, I believe he was part of the JSA, if I'm not, if my memory serves correctly. Um, and they basically practice backwards magic. So they, th they say things backwards, and thanks to their... Um, Thanks to their abilities, they're able to basically do whatever they said backwards, right? Um, and so Zatanna has, you know, she, she's been in Justice League Dark recently. Um, she's teamed up with, with Hellblazer, uh, Constant, John Constantine a few times. Um, and, you know, she's been involved in the DC Universe pretty heavily. Um, if you haven't read Identity Crisis, she played a, a significant role in that. Um, but that sort of speaks to her character, right? She's not... She's not white or, it's not a white or black situation with her, right? There's a lot of gray area with Zatanna. Um, and she knows that. And she, she, she's aware of it. She embraces it. And that's what's great about her character is that um, she tries to do the right thing as much as possible. But, you know, it's, it's doing the right things that is a confusing concept at times, right? I mean, that, we, we could say that for everyone. Um, but, uh, yeah, so getting, getting a little glimpse of the artwork here. Um, it's a very fun series, I must say. It's not, it's not super serious, um, although it does get dark at times, very dark. Um, and there, there's a lot of characters in here. Um, you get, you know, some team ups with uh, Black Canary, John Constantine, Clarion. Um, so there's a lot of different characters showing up. Basically, what's happening is she, she's living in Vegas. She's got her magic show in Vegas. Um, and weird stuff just happens along the way. And she's, you know, helping people with supernatural cases. Um, I believe her, her cousin comes for, to, for, for help. Um, who's, he's also a magician trying to get his, his act going. But like I mentioned, she's got a, a Vegas-centric uh, act um, where she performs magic for, you know, people similar to what Penn and Teller do. Um, and along the way, she gets into some pretty wild encounters. Um, so we see here one of the villains that does uh, recur throughout the series, Brother Knight. Um, real interesting character. Kind of very creepy looking. Um, you know, um, there, is a, there is quite a bit. You know, Zatanna's always been pretty, 
pretty sexualized as well. Um, but I really did, really did dig, dig the run. I thought it did end a bit early. I felt like it could have gone on a bit sooner, uh, a bit longer rather. Um, but uh, I did enjoy it because there is a lot of variety um, in, you know, the artwork and, and in the stories themselves, right? I mean, you've got um, a whole lot of villains that show up, Lord Mammon, a gentleman named Ben Raymond, um, Oscar Hample, who was, uh, uh, here, I'll see if I can find a page with him. He was basically, um, he had marionettes before, and um, there's, your, there, there's Lord Mammon right there. Um, there. There's some great artists in here, man, like people like Cliff Chang, um, I think... You know, Jesus Saiz is in here as well. These are, you know, guys that have, have gone on to do some pretty incredible things. Um, but basically, yeah, he, you know, uh, Oscar Hampel turns her into a marionette. Um, and he sort of has control over her and he's getting revenge um, because her father basically ruined his act when he was starting out um, by doing real magic as opposed to marionette stuff. So you got some Cliff Chang artwork here. Crisp as always. Um... There's a lot of action, um, a lot of adventure, um, and, and a lot of comedy as well in this series. Um, it's very enjoyable. And like I said, one of the most interesting things is Zatanna just sort of uh, the exploration of her character, right? Um, and just sort of her really embracing who she is um, and the difficulty of, you know, following in her, in her father's footsteps and, and trying to be, you know, a good role model to, to her, her cousin and um, trying to be a, a good hero. Um, in the world of magic and you know running in circles the same circles as John Constantine it can be pretty tough to be you know a, a decent a decent uh, magician or person um, but yeah it's a it's a very enjoyable run I forget how many issues it ran I think it was around 20 um, which is a solid number but again like I said it felt like it could have kept going but um, it leaves off on a good note you do get closure it's not like it just got cut off suddenly um, you get a lot of backwards magic in here, a lot of real creative solutions to problems. Um, and there's, like I said, a lot of supernatural stuff going on, right? Which I'm sure you can pick up based on what, what's been happening so far um, in the pictures. But um, I highly recommend you guys check this run out, especially if you're, you know, if you've been interested in Zatanna or you're reading Justice League Dark and you want to know more about her character. Um, this is a great, great place to start um, and, and just keep exploring. I hope that someday Paul Dean returns and writes you know, another ongoing or, or, or a maxi series or something with her um, because she's a really fascinating character. She's got great powers and uh, she gets into some wild, wild adventures, you know, um, great covers as well on the series. Um, yeah, I felt like the only thing I wish that kept going was, uh, you know, we see Brother Knight return at the end and I feel like, again, like I've said a few times, that the story sort of got cut off a bit early in my opinion or it could have kept going and been expanded on. Um, and it would have been been real cool, but um, please, guys, check the series out. I'm sure Zatanna will just be playing a bigger and bigger role in the DC universe. Um, I hope she does anyway. And um, yeah, I guess uh, you know, I can I can give a little look here at the book itself, um, just to show you guys. I've had this book for about a year and a half now. Um, read it a couple times. That's what the binding looks like on these uh, on these uh, Lehman books. Um, this is a relatively smaller book, but um, it's great. There's very little gutter loss. Um, and like I mentioned, all I did was take the trade paperback, remove the cut back and front cover, and uh, and this is what we, what I got out of it. Um, but if you guys have read the run, let me know what your thoughts were on it. Um, if there's any other great series with Zatanna in it that you recommend, um, please let me know. I'm very interested. I, again, like I said, I, I really enjoy her character. Um, and I enjoy her powers make things so much more interesting with, you know, any character team up at all. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. Check this series out. Um, if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask us below. Um, follow us on Instagram at the Hardcover Comic. And uh, thank you guys again. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great day or night, whatever time you're watching this. And um, as always, until next time. You stay classy, Internet.